Bali is fed up with some tourists. Bali, the island of gods, economy benefits remain to be tourism. Some of the 3 million residents in Bali however asking if this benefit is worth dealing with visitors. The Bali Tourism Board says, there is no other place like Bali in this world. A magical blend of culture, people, nature, activities, weather, culinary delights, nightlife, and beautiful accommodation. Bali is rated as one of the best travel destinations in the world by countless websites, review portals, and travel magazines each year, for very good reasons. World Tourism Network will bring the Queen to Bali in its next executive meeting. Last month, Bali's Governor Wayne Koster ordered visitor passports to include a list of clear do's and don'ts after a German lady stripped outside a shrine in Ubud town. An American man defaced a Balinese police cruiser. As of June 9, the local administration has deported 136 foreigners for various offenses. Punishing misbehavior isn't enough. Koster informed Balinese MPs on Wednesday that overseas tourists will be charged a $10 levy starting next year. He thinks it will help maintain the province's culture and ecology. As of May, 439,475 visitors had visited Bali since it reopened for foreign travel in 2022. After reopening, tourists violated societal taboos such as fighting local authorities and public sex. In March, the authorities banned visitors from riding motorbikes due to frequent traffic violations. Outsiders disrespecting natives and their customs have been a source of frustration. 17 vacationers in a guest house complained to their neighbors about crowing roosters earlier this year. Koster said, they don't have to come to Bali. We shouldn't interact with them. Before the COVID-19 outbreak, Bali considered taxing international tourists. Some companies worry that Bali's electronic tourist tax would prevent travelers from visiting Bali. Koster says the minor tax won't affect tourism. We will use it for the environment, culture. He thinks this money will help to build better quality infrastructure.